1994, the American Society of Civil Engineers designated the highway network that connects the various American states as one of the seven wonders of the United States. At Reeves, we work on all types of intersection and interchange designs. Right now, for example, we are working on the Monroe Bypass Bridge. But roundabouts and bypass designs don't fit all situations. Early 2000, somebody decided that our standard overpass pattern maybe was not the most productive way of dealing with traffic management. Who was this man? It was him, Gilbert Kluwicki. So I actually came up with the DBI concept back in 2000 grad school. There was a crazy interchange northeast of Baltimore. And then from that, I, I retwisted a little bit, put the bridge back up, and that's what created the Dubber Dumb Interchange. The next semester, my sister was studying in Spain, and we did a tour around Europe. When we were in Versailles, our tour bus went through my concept. I was in shock. My sister didn't know what was wrong. I, t I told them, wait a second, we got a red light, fortunately, to see what was going on. I was very happy that, that my concept was actually being in use, but I was also very sad that I was not the original inventor of the idea. And so I, I eventually wrote a paper that I presented in Anaheim, California. A lot of people looked, well, why would you do something like that? But uh, there was a guy at Federal Highway who, who saw the concept and he thought I was onto something. Though the DDI concept became trendy amongst traffic engineers, it remains relatively unknown to the actual users of United States DDI. No, I have. No, I have not. No, what is that? Well, a diverging diamond interchange is something like that. You take a conventional interchange pattern like we are used to, and you bend or twist the two lanes, hence the divergence. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? Well, this simple, ingenious transformation of standard overpass patterns solves a lot of traffic problems, eliminates backups causing traffic jams on the highways, and saves tons of money. It also reduces waste of time and idling at traffic lights, reducing carbon footprint of users. The first DDI in the States has been built in Missouri in 2005. Popular Science named it one of the best innovations of the year in 2009. We had heard of diverging diamond interchanges, didn't really know a whole lot about them. Uh, our project was the third one constructed in Georgia. Uh, there are two uh, others in the Atlanta area. Uh, one of the unique things about our project was that it was the first DDI occurred under the interstate. Oh, the very first time you drive through it on the opposite side that we're used to. It's like a moment of panic, but after, it only took one time really to get used to it. So before it used to take me between 35 minutes and 45, 50 minutes to get home every day. And now, uh, same time, it's like 20 minutes on the dot every time. The striping, uh, the signs, and the uh, signalization was a very large part of the project. and. Uh, it certainly helps to make sure that everybody understands what they're coming into. So I think yeah, for the most part, it's performed very well. The DDI in Georgia was completed summer 2017. You know, honestly, we were a little skeptical about how well it would work, but um, through the design and, and, and then through construction, we were, um, you know, it proved its worth and it's operating very efficiently today. I expect that probably the next five years will probably double the DDI, it'll probably get to about 200. We're saving over a billion to two billion dollars probably in the next five years or so. DDIs are, going, are really exploding in the U.S. The data is very clear that these work very well. A nice addition, the U.S. highway network that, in the end, will make our lives easier. <laughs>